Hey, for Halloween, I'm dressing up as Lil Curbs. That sounds weird. Uh, enjoy. In this video, I'll be beating two levels. One where I broke a world record by an hour and a half, and another that looks like this. So this first level is full of blue falling platforms I have to precisely jump across. I control my jump heights that I land on and jump off of each platform as soon as possible to save time. This level is also full of invisible blocks that make many of the jumps much harder than they look. Like right here where I have to swing to the left to avoid the hidden blocks. After bouncing on the pokey, I spin jump to stay right above the spike top so that I can bounce off of it right away. Then I jump over these munchers, kill the thwomp, and continue moving from platform to platform. Next, I have to grab this pow and use it as a platform before it's destroyed by the thwomp. Then, I have to land on the left side of this koopa so that it gets pushed to the right and I'm able to jump off it. After a few more jumps, I can pick up this galoomba and throw it up into the on off switch. This changes the direction of the conveyor to give me a spring that I can jump off of midair to reach the halfway point of this level. The second half of this level keeps up the fast pace. I steal the spring from the thwomp, throw it up so that I can kick the shell against the wall, and then I can drop the spring onto the muncher. I immediately throw this pound to the wall to kill the munchers in order to progress. Next, I catch this dry bone shell and drop it below me so that I can dismount it up to the platform. Then, I have to make a tight jump to avoid the invisible block and the thwomp coming at me. Then I throw the shell against the wall, bop this hammer bro, and massacre a family of paratroopers that were just minding their own business. Anyway, next I have to spin jump on this bob bomb to get across the spikes, and then I use it to blow up these blocks. This lets me reach the shell, which I throw into these springs, and then I barely escape this claw that tries to carry me away into a soft lock. But I'm able to reach the goal, and beat the old record by over 90 minutes. In this next level, I have to do lots of control jumps. Most levels let you do either maximum or minimum bounces, but here, I have to manually adjust my height for every jump. First, I spin jump on the spike ball to drop a shell down to hit into the switch. Then I land on the stump and do two tricky shell jumps. Then I hit this question block that makes the spiny knock the shell up into the spring, and then I can bounce off the spiny and then the shell in midair. Then I have to land on this shell and pick up the one on the left without letting them collide so I can use it to get into the pipe. Finally, I kick this shell into the switch which drops this mole and then I throw this last shell up into the switch and time my spin jump to reach the key door. Then I can jump to the goal without any trouble. Whenever I achieve something like ripping off a much more successful YouTube channel, I like to put something to commemorate the achievement on my wall. These levels aren't really Halloween related, but I did put some Halloween decorations on my wall. I hope you enjoyed this cheap knockoff version of Lil Curbs' videos. He's a really awesome streamer and YouTube creator, so make sure you check out his channel if you haven't already.